Hey, and welcome. I'm Susan Sage, and this video is, is going to be helpful for you if you are on some kind of path of calling, if you're following your dharma or you're wanting to in your life at the moment. I've been doing this for quite a long time myself, having been through this spiritual awakening experience when I was in my late teens. I never really wanted to indulge in the rat race. I didn't want a normal job, a nine to five. I just couldn't handle being in that <laughs> environment. I needed and still do need to express my dharma and be on that path. So I've had to learn how to work with universal law in order to gain traction on that pathway, in order to make sure that I am still generating enough provision and abundance and all the things I need and more to live happily in this realm when I'm not feeding into the mainstream, if you know what I mean. So let's look at this together. It's really, really, really interesting and quite simple when it comes down to it. So when you think about your calling or your dharma, what is that and where does that come from? You know, your calling isn't coming from all of your past and all of your programs and all of the files that you hold about everything that you see and perceive in your life. It's not coming from your personality necessarily. It's something that speaks to you and calls to you from a higher place, doesn't it? It's something that wants to come through your heart. It's something you feel in your bones. It's inspiration. It's coming through you from a higher plane. And therefore, if we want to really be in touch with our dharma and able to flow it onto the material plane with ease, then we need to be in touch with that state of consciousness where we're connected with where it's coming from, which is the higher mind, the higher self, source energy, divine, whatever you want to call that higher element of our consciousness, our essence, if you want to say that. If we want to be able to seamlessly express this dharma and let it through us into the material world, we need to be in the state of consciousness that allows it through. I'm already okay. I'm already complete. I already have. I'm already full. I'm already abundant. And what, what would love do from this space? You know, what am I inspired to overflow into the world from that higher state of consciousness that is already complete? This is the shift that we need to make in our consciousness in order to allow our dharma through. This is the ultimate state, the ultimate alignment to be in, to let our dharma, the inspiration through from our heart, from our soul, from our essence energy, through us and onto the material plane. Because when we're in that energy, that higher consciousness of I already am, I already have, I feel completely complete and full and whole right now. What does my heart want to overflow into the material plane? And we start to follow those cues consistently, not just once a year <laughs> or, you know, even once a month, but consistently getting into that state of consciousness, really feeling the inspiration and taking steps on what we feel inspired by from that higher state of consciousness. If we can consistently do that, and I'm not saying all day long, right? I'm just saying every day for five minutes is a good start. It's consistently dipping in, consistently allowing that energy through, we are going to start to create some traction. We're going to start to see some results. And it all comes from the state of consciousness that we are in. That is the key. Because remember, our dharma is coming in from a higher state of consciousness. And if we're in the lower state of consciousness, we've basically got to shield up to it. So when we switch and every time we switch into a higher state of consciousness, we're opening up that door, we're allowing the stream to come on in and we're following how it's leading us. And this is it. This is really it. That's the practice that creates the most traction. Now, here's the thing. 
it is very hard to remember sometimes. And I've been teaching this, this, you know, process, if you like, for a long time and practicing it myself. But yet I still forget and fall asleep and go into trying to get something out there, trying to reach outside of myself for the answers, trying to push control and force things rather than coming into alignment, you know, worrying about certain aspects of things, going into self-doubt, all of that. It's very easy to fall asleep. And, you know, the clients I've been working with for years, they still fall asleep and need reminding again and again and again of this alignment, I already am, I already have, I'm already complete and whole, and what would I overflow from that place? That's really the thing we need to keep remembering. Now, you know, we don't even know sometimes that we've fallen asleep. We don't even realize it. And we can go along, around and around in old lower mind programs for days or weeks without even realizing that all we need to do is shift back into that high consciousness, back into that full, complete and whole state and the answers will be right there. Now, this is what we are going to practice in Dharma School. It is going to be a supportive container that will hold you accountable to keep in that alignment and practicing that that feeling of higher consciousness and allowing that higher energy, the higher mind, the inspiration to move into your life and through you and that you can start to take steps and take little action steps on what you're receiving. And this way you're partnering with higher consciousness. You're doing it with all that is, not separated from all that is, all alone, carrying some burden on your shoulders. You are joined with the universe and acting as an agent for love as you bring your dharma into the world and create traction with that for the highest good of all. This is what I wish for you so much. If you're interested in getting better at that, getting better at creating traction in your dharma and being in a beautiful group of beautiful like-minded souls that can help to keep you accountable in that and support you and your consistency with that, then check out the description of this video, which has the link to dharma school. I'd love to chat with you about it. All my love.